and welcome to this edition of Intelligent IO Matters from QLogic, a Cavium company. My name is Todd Owens. I'm the field marketing manager here at Cavium for the HPE OEM team. And the presentation I have for you today focuses on how 10 gigabit Ethernet with 10 G base T connectivity options have become a game changer for Ethernet connectivity uh, to HPE ProLiant Gen 9 servers. My goal today is to show you how to future proof IO connectivity for those customers with ProLiant Gen 9 servers that are connecting them to one gigabit Ethernet networks. We want to simplify that transition that those customers are going to eventually have from one gigabit Ethernet to 10 gigabit Ethernet. Many customers are connecting to these one gigabit Ethernet networks because they simply can't afford to upgrade the servers and the networks at the same time. But unfortunately, this kind of environment makes it extremely difficult for HPE and their partners to differentiate the HPE offerings from lower cost white box providers. The sales play we want to make here is analogous to the mobile phone market. We want to migrate the customers with the Gen 9 servers away from legacy technology like the flip phone and to the new intelligent 10 gig ethernet technology, the smartphone. And the enabler for this is the 10G base T connectivity that we now have with a variety of HPE and QLogic 10 gig ethernet adapters. A significant number of today's HP Proliant customers are connecting to uh, these lower performance one gigabit ethernet networks. And here are the common sales objectives you're gonna hear when discussing the eventual transition from one gigabit ethernet to 10 gigabit ethernet. I can't upgrade everything at once. I simply don't have the budget. Or 10 gigabit is way too expensive for me. Or perhaps I'm never gonna need 10 gigabit ethernet performance. Well, uh, the realities of this are that the network will eventually be upgraded long before these servers that you're trying to sell today are out of service. Uh, putting in a 10 gigabit ethernet adapter with a 10 G base T connection option allows that adapter to work at today's one gigabit ethernet speed. And then down the road, when the network gets upgraded, the servers will be good to go and automatically reconfigure through auto negotiation at the new 10 gigabit ethernet bandwidth. Also 10 G base T adapters don't require the expensive SFP plus connection options. They use RJ45 connectors and copper cable, just like one gigabit ethernet adapters. So at a 200 to $300 per port cost, and with a cost per gigabit per second, that's 80% uh, lower than one gigabit ethernet, your customers can't afford not to upgrade to 10 G base T today. And then finally, 10 gigabit ethernet provides lots more bandwidth, true, but it also provides several intelligent features like NPAR, SRIOV, tunneling, and more that you can take advantage of even when connected at the one gigabit ethernet speeds. So the sales opportunity is to future-proof the Gen 9 servers for those customers that are still connecting to the legacy one gigabit ethernet networks. Think of all of the processing power available in that HPE ProLiant Gen 9 server that simply cannot be taken advantage of when the customer is connected to a suboptimal one gig network. This is not to say that one gigabit ethernet is not good, but there are better solutions available. Back to our flip phone analogy for the one gigabit ethernet. Many people are still using these older phones as a means to make mobile calls, but that's really all they can do with them. Now think of 10 gigabit ethernet as that smartphone. Customers can make phone calls, same as they can with the flip phone, but there are so many more capabilities in the smartphone as in 10 gigabit ethernet technology as well, and not a big premium to pay. 10 G base T is backward compatible with one gigabit ethernet and provides most of the capabilities we mentioned earlier. And the 10 gigabit ethernet also provides a very attractive price per gigabyte value proposition. Here's a list of the technologies that are available today in high performance 10, 20, and 25 gigabit Ethernet adapters from HPE and QLogic. There's lots of intelligence in these higher performing adapters. Now let's take a 10 G base T adapter from HPE and QLogic, and you'll see that uh, the highlighted features here are also available even when operating at one gigabit Ethernet speeds. That makes them a more intelligent, flexible, and scalable one gigabit E offering for the ProLiant Gen 9 customer. Here's a look at the cost per gigabit breakdown comparing 1 gigabit Ethernet and 10 gigabit Ethernet offerings at HPE list prices. You can see that the 10 gigabit Ethernet makes a pretty compelling value proposition compared to 1 gigabit Ethernet pricing. 
I want to talk to you about the newest addition to the HPE and QLogic portfolio, the 536FLRT. It provides an even higher density 10G base T connection option for Proliant and Apollo servers. Now, this adapter is backward compatible to one gigabit ethernet and, and at 10 gigabit has all the same features of say the HPE 533FLRT, but includes two additional ports. This quad port adapter includes support for NIC, iSCSI and FCOE protocols, uh, stateless offloads, uh, single root IO virtualization, tunnel offloads, and more. Um, like all 530 series adapters from HPE, these adapters are managed by HPE utilities like the Converge Network Utility, as well as QLogic's utility, uh, QLogic Converge Console or QCC. This chart shows all the different 10G base T offerings from HPE and QLogic. The 530T is our NIC only PCIe stand-up card offering and all the rest are converged offerings uh, with both NIC and storage functions enabled at 10 gigabit port speeds. Note that when running at one gig, none of the uh, storage options are available. At one gig, we only run at one gigabit ethernet on NIC. The 536FLRT is the new four port flexible LOM offering for Gen 9 Proliant and Apollo servers. So what's the call to action? Our call to action here is follow the wire. In all your server engagements, speak to the customers about how they're connecting to the network and to each other. Specifically targeting those customers connecting Gen 9 servers to one gigabit ether network networks, talk to them about what we learned today, that you can use a 10 G base T adapter to future proof that configuration and make it ready for 10 gig down the road. This will lead to opportunities to help you talk about the network, uh, any other storage opportunities and what have you uh, with that particular customer. For more information, access our HPE microsite here at uh, www.qlogic.com slash info slash HP. Uh, you'll find lots of great information on the products and technology we talked about today, including data sheets, white papers, technology briefs, and more. If you're looking for training, we have an HPE specific training website at hpe.qlogictraining.net. And you'll find additional uh, cool videos like this out on our QLogic TV channel on uh, YouTube, and then get social with us by following us on Twitter or joining the conversation on our LinkedIn group. Finally, for you resellers out there, uh, we offer the Follow the Wire Rewards Program. Uh, individuals can earn points redeemable for merchandise, experience events, travel, and more simply by learning about uh, HPE and QLogic technology through our training events, training activities, or engaging with our HPE QLogic team. Uh, this program runs in conjunction with Brocade, so there are even more earning opportunities to get trained and engaged on their HPE products as well. So join the program and start earning today. Well, that's it for this edition of Intelligent IO Matters. I want to thank you for your time and your attention. And if you have any questions or need any help, please reach out to us via email, Twitter, or LinkedIn. With that, I want to say have yourself a wonderful rest of your day.